Welcome, my friends, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I am so happy that you guys chose to join me today. It is No Cash Clash. That's right, the most requested, most asked for, most demanded, most watched series on my channel. Episode 156. That is right, and we are just flying, right? We're having a great time in Town Hall 11. Things have certainly slowed down. We have a lot of long upgrades. We have very expensive walls to work on, but we're still having fun. We're still getting as much done as we possibly can, and we're getting ready to send the Archer Queen to level 47. One of my biggest goals is to hurry up and get her to level 50 so that we can have her for the remainder of Town Hall 11. Obviously, walls are going to go up here and there. You know, three million a pop. It's going to take a while. And back on the rating side, well, let's just say that baby dragons are the theme of the day, uh, of the week, of the, of the month, of the entire town hall. I, I know I said that miners are strong, but remember, baby dragons are amazing because you don't always have to use all of them. You could do some sniping. You don't have to pick up three stars every time, especially after you've made it to Champion League as hopefully a town hall nine or ten. Now, we're not hurting for trophies, but we are hurting for gems. Still below 100 gems doesn't feel great, but we did have the Master Engineering achievement go into Builder Hall 8, so we pick up 50 gems here, but that's about it, unfortunately. We're probably going to try to wait and save up 500 gems for those future books of heroes that will show up from time to time. We've got a couple of big achievements that are 1,000 gems, but they're still a long ways away. I showed you the tail end of a few raids, and that grabbed 200,000 Dark Elixir, so it is time to go to level 47 with the Archer Queen. Now, we do have a Book of Heroes, but, you know, we don't have to worry about using that until later on this season. So let's go ahead and maybe use it to get her to 48 or to 49 or even, dare I say, to level 50. In the meantime, check out this raid. This was the hashtag I wasn't prepared raid of the week. You'll notice that I only had about half a dozen lightning spells, I only had a dozen baby dragons, and that's it. You know, no warden, no queen, just the king, not nearly a full army, and I stumble across a base that is worth over two million in resources. Now this, again, is what I say the beauty of using baby dragons is. You can get out there and raid and expect to win battles win trophies if that's what you want, or grab tons of loot if that's what you're after, with only a partial army of baby dragons. Don't count on getting the two star, but easily grabbing a one star. And of course, when you see a base like this, it's not necessarily disaster because you don't have a full army. Now I will admit, when I first saw this, I was pretty disappointed. I believe that we were live streaming on Facebook Gaming at the time. And despite the fact that it's a mostly dead base, I knew that there was no chance for me to triple it. The key was to try to be very selective about where we dropped the baby dragons. And of course, it helped out that this player kind of, you know, put his pumps, his mines, his collectors, his drills kind of in one spot each around the base. So it was relatively easy to get to the stuff that I needed the most. You'll notice that I'm just about full on elixir. So we focused on the dark, we focused on the gold, and it worked out pretty well. We got in, we easily got the star for overall damage. And although, of course, like I said, we're nowhere near the town hall, we are going to kind of, you know what? We're gonna stick around and see if we can't maybe grab some more of this elixir, get in after these elixir collectors on the right-hand side with our final baby dragons. So you can see they're working their way in. Because the Expos and the Eagle were dead, there's no resistance. They made it to the core of the base, and I'm thinking, wait a minute. Okay, rather than going after the final two elixir pumps on the right hand side that are protected by like a gazillion archer towers let's go into the core let's grab the dark elixir let's grab the eagle that is an eventual achievement you guys remember and of course the town hall is a storage so it's going to have a pretty good amount of gold elixir and dark elixir inside and again when we get to the town hall we find that there's only two wizard towers that are even within range of the town hall itself so the end of this raid does kind of grind out slowly, but you know what? It gives us time to talk about other important things. Well, you you knew, right? We had to talk about use code Galadon, especially because it's December and every single penny that I get from you guys scrolling to the bottom on settings, more settings and entering code Galadon, every penny goes back to giveaways and goes to charity. We are feeding America. We are donating to food banks. It is a severe problem right now. So it is not only easy to do, it is the right thing to do. Thank you guys so much again 
for using code Galadon. And in the meantime, we picked off that town hall, picked up 1.6, nearly 1.7 million in loot and almost 10,000 Dark Elixir. Feels good. Back to the progress base and time to spend some of it. Now, this is also going to be exciting. I have three barracks that are at level 13. Here comes the fourth one. That is going to take us all the way to fully maxed barracks, which of course means it's Electro Dragon farming time. We will at least give it a try. I don't have a lot of hope that it's going to be amazing, but it's on the list. It's on the short list. We want to farm with E-Dragons and of course, reminder to self, we want to try farming with Super Goblins as well. Now, we do have this Inferno Tower that we could upgrade, but we only have one builder free right now. And the thought is, I want to get this Grand Warden to level 15 as soon as possible and get him to another level of his ability. So I think that we'll probably go ahead and spend this gold on a few of these walls over here, these painful 3 million gold level 12 walls. But so we'll fill in some of these holes and then we'll go ahead and get back out to farming. Don't worry, I won't put you through a bunch of those raids. You know what they're going to be. And so we are going to, yeah, we're almost broken gold, but that's okay. We only have one builder free for quite a while. So and then fine, because people were telling me that that was disturbing them. We fix it. Okay, so these are the raids. This just consider this is what happens all day, all night on the No Cash Clash account right now. Now we do have the Warden, of course, for now. So we kind of throw him in there, but he doesn't make that much of a difference. We roll in, it looks like spam, but you know, we are being very careful about where we place those baby dragons so that each one is just far enough away from the next that that tantrum ability stays active as much as possible. Now the core, we've got those Inferno Towers and the Hidden Teslas and an Archer Tower in there. So it's this type of raid that's not likely going to pick up two or three stars. Miners probably would have done the job, but then again, we also don't have an Archer Queen to help funnel. So again, my argument is, Baby Dragon's the easiest and best go-to farming army at Town Hall 11. And uh, there we go. So we picked up, well, I'm going to say this is pretty good. You can't complain about over 6K dark and all of that other good stuff. That got us up to the magic number that we needed, 8.4 million to upgrade to level 14. But remember, in the meantime, we have about 5 million gold. So let's just go ahead and make sure that we don't go over the top in gold. So we spent 3 million in gold. Then we pop back down. Now we take the Grand Warden to level 14. See you in about a week. Yeah, well, you know what? It's, it's okay. He's not as badly missed as the King or the Queen are in raids. And then we move on to the next day. You'll notice that we had another builder come free. And uh, you got to do these. I mean, they're not exciting upgrades, right? Bombs, traps, mines. But they help out. And the Tornado Trap is going to level 2. And uh, that's about that. Now, I also wanted to touch on the Builder Hall side because we recently went to Builder Hall 8, which is exciting, but we have not yet built the new army camp or the new Mega Tesla, despite the fact that we have not even completed the number of army camps that you should have active at Builder Hall 8. We're still doing okay. Just again, Dirty Baby Dragon spam on both villages and it keeps us consistently in the 2400 or so trophy range. Once we get the Mega Tesla built, once we get the next army camp in a couple of levels, then we will go ahead and make that push for 3,000 Builder Hall trophies and that's gonna get us a thousand gems in the achievements. In the meantime, we finally did get enough for the army camp, so hopefully next episode, maybe a little bit better rating on the Builder Hall side. But that is about it. We are pretty much caught up right now on No Cash Clash. So let's pop over to the status report and check out how we did. Trophies, like I said, they're kind of hovering around the same area for both the home and the Builder base. So nothing really exciting there. For gems though, we did pick up a bunch of gems and we're finally getting a little bit closer to that magic number of 500 for a book of heroes. Speaking of heroes, the Barbarian King and the Grand Warden each finished another upgrade, Archer Queen, come on. And yes, the best army, Baby Dragons. Love it or hate it, it really works. My next goals, it's still all about the level 50 Queen. Thank you guys, Galafam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, wear a mask, socially distance, be kind to other people, animals on the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Wait, oh, I make the best of the rest of your day. I almost forgot that one. Galagon, Galagon, the best of the rest of my day, if I had to say, is right after you have gone away.